Ask and you shall receive. Metal Mondays is back. What's going on, YouTube? It's Willie Noxo, and we are back. We're back to our reaction series. So today, today, man, we got a very special one on deck. You guys have been begging me to get back into the world of Metallica. This has been highly requested from you all. So this right here, right now, is none other than for whom the bell tolls. But before we're going to further listen, if you like the hat that I'm wearing, if you like the hoodie that I'm wearing, support the channel. It really does go a long way. Go grab your merch, guys. Knoxhillmusic.com. We got hats, shirts, hoodies, everything that you need. If you want to support the brand, get it out there. I'll put all links down below. But anyways, anyways, you know what we're here for. Metallica, step back up to the plate. We'll see what you got. Church bells? Well, this sounds friendly. I love how like buried into the mix as part of like the percussive hits and just like alongside the guitars, they still have that bell just chiming out. I mean, the title of the track is For Whom the Bell Tolls. Makes me think of the Hemingway novel, For Whom the Bell Tolls. But I wonder if we're going to have any connections to that. We'll see. Because obviously the bells in Hemingway's novel, For Whom the Bell Tolls, are, are of the dead because it's a novel about war in the Spanish Civil War. So I wonder if these are also funeral bells for whom the bell tolls for thee like making my heart race there's this just anxiousness to it this pulsating aggression Who needs lyrics? Just let the guitars speak for themselves. I mean, you talk about just like building this just sense of, I don't know, it's almost like a story being set up. And this feels like we're building up to the climax right now, right? We're just like running with the narrative, even though there's no lyricism, like everything is just being told through the guitars and the heavy hitting percussion and just the emotion and the rawness of it all. I feel like I could do anything right now. I could help an old lady cross traffic in the middle of rush hour, take it over the world. Make his fight on the hill in the early days. Constant chill deep inside. Ooh, interesting. Sound, sounding gun as they run through the endless gray. Yeah, you know what? For whom the bell tolls, right? Story of Spanish Civil War, nationalists versus the Republicans, a prelude to World War II, right? Communism versus fascism. I know that's a massive simplification on it, but obviously Hemingway got the idea because he was a war reporter at the time in Spain, right? And so he wrote a story about an American who goes over and fights on the side of the Republicans, and his job is to blow up a bridge. But unfortunately, it all goes wrong. And uh, yeah, spoiler alert, you know, he, uh, well... They suggest that he dies. We don't know if he dies, but he's going to die. He's, he's been wounded badly in the end. And, 
yeah, it just sounds like we have almost like an Iron Maiden-esque, Sabaton-esque, sounding gun, endless gray symbolism, allusions to death and war. Oh, this is fun. And they fight for the right. Yes, but who's to say? Because think about just the countless wars and, and when you're in it, right? It, politicians wage war, but it's us who lose our lives. You know, the, the common man. And so many wars that have been fought over ideologies and, and who is right. But w which side is right? The side who wins because the winners are the ones who get the right to history, right? Everybody has different ideologies, different beliefs, and everybody goes into war feeling like they're justified and they're on the right. They don't go into a war saying, yeah, we're in the wrong. We're totally bad people. We're going to fucking kill you. Anyways, that's my <laughs> what a summary and philosophical analysis that was not. Stiffen wounds test their pride. If you're wounded, it tests your pride if you want to keep fighting on. But I wonder if there's more to that and just humanity and even like speaking of men dying, testing their pride and masculinity. Men of five. From the raging glow. That's got to be illusions for whom the bell tolls as well, right? Like fighting for this hill. They don't know why. Isn't there a scene? Is it five standing on a hill that just get blown up by an air raid? In for whom the bell tolls as well. Because our, our protagonist at the end, he gets shot. He gets wounded. Shot on his horse trying to escape. And then he has like his last stand moment and he tells, you know, the rebels to go on and he's just going to try to kill some good old fascists before his time is up. But I just see like the fiery glow of like the bombs being dropped from the sky. Yeah, this is, this is poetic and this is dark. This is, mm. Yeah. Shattered goal fills his soul with a ruthless cry. Love the lyricism on this. But then when I point at the camera, take a look at the sky just before you die. That is that is the ending of the book, isn't it? When our protagonist, when Robert looks at the sky, knowing that death is coming. This is your last chance to look at it. And then all those dreams that you have. But this isn't just a reflection of that singular moment in character. This is a reflection of just war in general, right? And someone fighting and the bombs rushing and then dreams being shattered. Not even knowing what we're fighting for anymore, but we're, we got to go take that hill because our commander told us to take that hill, right? Just the grim reality of death and war. And there truly are no winners in war. Even that blackened roar fills the crumbling sky. Mm. Hear the silence so loud could be the silence of death. Done, all is gone except the the calm, the quiet before the storm. Will to be. Then all is gone except for the will to be, except for me, like the will to be, the will to survive, right? That's it. You're just trying to survive at the end of the day. They see what will be, blinded eyes to 
But now they see what will be, right? They're trying to survive, but now what will be suggests the future. And what happens is their oncoming death, blinded eyes, right? When your eyes glaze over because you're dead, blinded eyes to see. Should have let it play longer. Blinded eyes to see, dot, 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 for whom the bell tolls. Yes, coming back around to death. I felt like there was a ghost in the mix there where that guitar was haunting me. Just slid way off to the side as it slides around in the engineering space. It's almost like a, like a sonic dissonance there at the end. I mean, to me, music transports you to places, doesn't it? So when you just hear the sound, I just picture being in the middle of war, right? In a, a blackened sky that's crumbling down, bombs being dropped, bullets firing past, and it just has that, that angst, right? That adrenaline pumping moment of war and of death hanging all around you. And, and that, to me, is what just the music and production does here. And I love the fact that they took a novel, such a famous Hemingway novel, and have literally taken that famous piece of literature and put it to the sound of music and really captured that essence and some of those scenes and that feeling. And it was raw. And it wasn't a glorified, romantic view of war and of death. It was just realistic. It was dark. Wow, Metallica. Love the lyricism of that. You were Noxo certified. Hope you guys liked today's video. This is for your hair at the end. Obviously, you enjoyed the content. Do me a huge favor. Support the channel directly. Subscribe to notifications on. It really, really does go a long way. I love you guys. Stay safe, stay positive. It's Willie Noxo. Oh, yeah. Also, you like the hat that I'm wearing? You like the hoodie that I'm wearing? We got hats. We got shirts. We got hoodies. You want to support the channel directly? Go copy your merch. Noxomusic.com really does go a long way. All right, guys. I'll catch you again.